for me. My name is Ro Ryder and I'm a Telugu rapper and I've been doing rap for a very long time. Okay. To begin with, yes, signature to autograph is what I'm going to talk about too. So what exactly happened? What made me get into this Telugu rap? I think we, we need to know the story. I think this is the right time and I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to be here to let you all know what's, what's my inspiration, what made actually uh, me to reach to this place and what the good app is all about. Okay, So let's go to the next slide. <laughs> yes. So in the college, I was rapping. I was rapping. Uh, yes, like you know, when you start the lot of hands, lot of fingers raising towards you and saying, Hey, you're not rap, you're a rapist. Is what they call me in the very beginning. And uh, even in the college, I was so much humiliated. I was humiliated to the fullest. So, but there were a few people like me. Yes, we do have similar minds in the college. So that's when this band formed, Caden Slaves. So this is the band that I formed in the college. So we all, we all had similar thoughts. We had music, music in our mind. We always wanted to music. So what happened? Right after my engineering, like in third year, so there were, I, I was in second year, sorry. So there were my seniors. So the one on the right uh, is my senior, and from the left on the second one is my senior too. So they were performing on the annual day, uh, and, and then once they were, they were really good performing. They were performing really good, and then right after the performance, and when I went ahead and I spoke to them, dude, I think uh, we should form a band. Uh, and they were like, do, do, do you rap, right? Like, yes, I'm a rapper, but you you know, Linkin Park, Limbiscuit, all these bands, they have rappers in the band. I think I think we can form a band too. And they were all they were lacking is the drummer. So I said, I have a friend who plays in churches. I'll go and ask him, and then we can see if we can collaborate, we can form a band, and we can perform in the college. Let's see what happens. And then we all four formed together and we formed this band called Cadence Slaves. Uh, Cadence is nothing but the rhythm, so we are slaves of the rhythm. So it was a heavy metal band. All we have to do growl. Oh, I don't have to growl. And, uh, but still I managed. I did a couple of performances, but I'm a rapper. Okay, but in a heavy metal band, you can't really rap. That's, that's the culture of it. So this, on this day, um, we performed at uh, Wesley Degree College and then a couple of other colleges. Eventually what happened, they were not liking me. Because all they wanted is growling, screaming, they wanted. I really can't do, that's not me. And uh, they said, dude, you're not fit. You can't be in the band anymore. And they kicked me out. And they said, you go rapping. We are a heavy metal band, we don't want to. You know, you know, do something rap and be a pay, being humiliated a lot in the city. Then I was the one who formed the band and I got kicked out. And they took another female vocalist and they continued their journey. I was so disappointed because every step that I'm taking, nobody is accepting what I'm doing. I I wanted to. I still believed in myself. I'm like a person. I don't take humiliation. I accept criticism, but I'll, I will show people what I am. I'll keep struggling. I'll keep struggling towards my success. Is what my my thoughts are, what my character is. So, though, no matter what, how many times I've been kicked out, how many times my lectures have been, you know, just cut the mic down or, 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 or you know, turn my pages or the rap pages, I still thought I will still work on this rap. And then, let me do the next slide. Okay, and then here comes the big thing. Okay, his name is Nani. <clears throat> and he saw me, uh, he's heard, uh, you know, there were, there were a few people performing right uh, on the top of the floor. And then one day he just get crashed into our uh, studio. And then I said, he saw me performing and then he came close to me. And said, you, you're, you're rapping really good. Thank you, first time somebody said good. <laughs> and he did his himself that he is a music director and then he took my he took my number and uh, there was one day uh, I said I'll give you a call anytime there is a recording come to the studio we'll record a song 
probably we can make it bigger from here. Then I thought, yeah, something is happening. It's just that it happens because when you work towards something, the whole universe supports you, is what we we always been hearing about. So I thought, I'll keep struggling, let me see. If this guy calls, nothing like that. Even if it doesn't call, I thought I'll still work on this rap. And then one day, I was listening, uh, I was in the classroom. Right in between the classroom, I get this call from me. They're like, oh, I have to answer this call. I have to answer this call. And the lecturer just turns towards the board and eventually ran to, at the back of the bench. And, and went down and answered this call. And I'm like, hello. Come to studio. We have a recording today. Are you free at 5 o'clock? Anytime I'm free. Anytime. I'll come down. Okay, come down. Uh, do you know Krishna Nagar? No, no, I don't. Do you know Panjavata? I don't. Do you know Begum Bed? No, no, I don't. <laughs> I was, no, I was, because I was just in the Wallace school, I was just in between the gullies. I've never been out of the town. And I was like, okay, cool. You can ask your friend. Uh, you can come down, come back at 5 o'clock to the studio. Let's see what we can do. So immediately, right on the college, right on the class, I quit college. I jumped uh, the wall and uh, yeah. <laughs> First time I realized I can do good stunts. <laughs> and uh, I jumped the wall and I called my friend. They're like, don't uh, come to Wallace Buddha. I'll pick you up from there. And uh, I asked my mom, I took 100 rupees from my mom, filled petrol, and started to go towards Panjabhuta. <clears throat> and uh, I, I was, first time I'm observing, okay, that is a city here also. <laughs> Outside Varasaguda. And then I reached to the studio. So normally, before I got into the studio, always there is notion in movies we see, right? You know, Elena Jagaru is playing like hundreds of people, violins, strings, guitars. So that was my, uh, you know, that was my thought before entering the studio. And I had a lot of, lot of, lot of, uh, you know, tension in me. How to face these hundred people once I enter the studio? So I, you know, I mean, I hold my heart very strong and then I thought, let me enter the studio and open the studio like this. There was just one sound engineer. <laughs> and there's one system and this. Director Nani Rana was sitting right in the sofa. Like I was looking at all the other walls also. If there's any other space, there are 100 people there. <laughs> and uh, Nani Rana said, okay, <clears throat> go to the booth, record, record a song. And uh, this is the song that we'll be working on. And he explained me a theme. And normally what happens is, they'll tell you a theme and you should have to write something and start working on the, you know, you go and go to the recording booth and then record. So this was my first recording. That was my first picture that I clicked. That was my first recording. See, look at how look how I was looking at the mic. Oh, this is how the mic looks. Okay. <laughs> okay, can we go to the next slide? Okay. Okay, interesting, no? something we can relate to. Google, take my mind and all. Okay, I did my recording. Everything was going really smoothly. I've been working with many music directors. Uh, Many music like Kiravani Garu, Taman. I've been working lately. Yeah, paid a little bit because I was more focusing towards my rap more than the money that I'm getting. And uh, there was one point <clears throat> now that I've, my, I've been kicked out of the band. I've been working. Uh, I've been working lately uh, with the, with the music writers. But there came to a point I have to survive. Right after my uh, right after engineering, everybody got placed. I also got placed in Google. But my heart is not there. My heart is always towards rap. I want to do rap. I joined Google. Uh, I worked there for six months because I was never regular to Google office. All the time, all the time, searching in Google of all the new songs that are coming in the rap. I was never, and they said, dude, you're not, you're not fit. And they kicked me out. So I was again helpless. And uh, I thought, I have to do, I have to still continue doing something and then uh, for a couple of, you know, a couple of months I was all alone sitting at home doing nothing. But just keep listening to the rap songs. Uh, all I used to ask my mom, give me 500 rupees. Just that is for you to renew my internet uh, every month, that's it. Because I want to learn songs. I want to learn rap songs. So every time you used to uh, take 100 rupees from home whenever I get a recording, go recording, come back home. 
So I came to a point, this is not happening. I have to, I have to work. And then again, I joined in Tech Mahindra. Wherein the best part in Tech Mahindra was, I can work in the nights, I can, I, I can work in the night, and in the morning I can work on the music. So in the night, I used to do all my call center. Yeah, that, hello, Verizon, how may I help you? That was every day, every day work, and used to work for like, I worked in Tech Mahindra for over two and a half years. And then in, early in the morning, as soon as my uh, Tech Mahindra job got done, Early in the morning, I used to go with the news writers, keep working. So in a day, I used to at least sleep for two to three hours, that's it. Because I was living with my passion. I was so happy with that. Okay, can we move to the next slide? <clears throat> okay, and then happened, uh, I was in tech mind though. So there was, was one person, because I was working with the news writers, there was one person, Anu Rubens. How many of you know? Anu Rubens, he is a music writer for Manam. And he has been the best backbone, I can say, who has been supporting me in the in the field of music. Every day I used to work with him. So they came to point, one day he said, we're going to US. Uh, I was like, US sir? Yeah, we're going to USA. We'll be performing in US. We've got like seven to eight shows. So we'll be performing all the songs. Get ready, get your passport ready and everything. So I was like, finally I'm reaching something with my lab. And then I took one month leave in Tech Mahindra and glad they gave. They don't give a leave normally. Normally you work for a corporate company, they give you leave for like a week or 10. But I've got a leave for 10 over 30 days for a month. And I've traveled back to US. So I was there in US. Before, uh, yeah, before I went to US, I did this called Kirana Rap, the first rap that I've I, I rapped for you. So this song I did, and I, I just recorded the video, and I left the US. And I was in US and performing in everywhere. And when I was in US, this video in India got released. And my this video got released, and my friends kept on calling me. They're like, dude, you're Rahul, a road rider, right? Yeah. I'm a role writer. Your video in India is going viral on WhatsApp. Kirana rap is amazing. It's on newspapers everywhere. And my friends are sending me articles. First time I felt like, dude, this Kirana rap went viral and I'm not in India. I wish I was in India. All the journalists, all the newspapers started to call me, reach me on my WhatsApp and everywhere. And I was in US. And uh, even uh, my, my music director, Anup Rubens, appreciated me so much. Then I thought, okay, Telugu rap is working. Telugu rap is working. I think we can do much more bigger than this. And uh, I, was in, uh, I was in US and the evolution of Kirana rap happened. And this was the article that has been published. And right underneath it says, Tollywood rapper, role writer. The first time I felt so happy. Finally, I'm recognized as Hollywood rapper. That one title gave me goosebumps. Yes. Can we go to the next slide? And then I was in US. Okay. So I was in US, and they, I, I happened to meet one of my producers. His name is Bang Uh I explained that see, I do Telugu rap. I want, I want, you know, if you could uh, support me by producing a music video, it will not cost so much. Then I said, yes, I will definitely support you. I got back to India. I quit. Immediately as I got back to India, I quit Tech Mahindra. And then I I wrote this song, Patan song, uh, at home. And immediately I called uh, Vamshi Reddy and I said, I want to do this song. I need some investment. So he gave me 50,000 rupees. Like about $1,000. And I said, okay, go ahead. Go ahead and come up with a song. And immediately I quit Google, I quit Tech Mahindra. And then in the month of December, I made this song. Patan <laughs> changed everything in terms of Telugu rap music. People started to notice Telugu rap could be this entertaining, this much catchy, and it went viral like anything. I thought when I really when I released the song, we thought at least in a month, in a year, if we get one lakh views, we'll be super, we'll be so happy. But overnight, in one day, we received one lakh views. And like, it was so, we were so happy. See, Patak is creating some magic. 
and that's how telugu rap started to take shape in the telugu film industry and amongst people they started to relate the song they, because i have started to speak in the language of the gullies all the deccani language and they could relate it is just a normal song because the the lyrics that i write are not are not so much of literature it is just very uh, you know usual language that you speak so with the same language i have written this telugu rap and that went viral and then came after that patang they came dilkush they came shankar ka beta they came patti and there were many other songs started to take shape and telugu rap has been continued can we go to the next slide yes finally <laughs> right after you know i've been uh, so that you know i've been continuous rapping and there is big boss team who have observed uh, that i've been do doing really good because couple of my music videos they played starma and the starma music and uh, they have noticed i was doing really good all the youngsters have been following me so much and they contacted me and they said you can be a part of big boss too and i happened to be a uh, part of big boss and uh, you know what happened in big boss all one or six days i was there in big boss i know para 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 told me told me la even kamla sir garu couldn't dress his himself and he left but then it's good okay so it's okay i took lot of criticism this troll is just like a you know small stone in the ocean so i i'm so i'm so happy to run next time and yes arbu happened Albu is definitely one of one of the songs where I was there in Big Boss got released, and I, we have uh, I, I have received a San Francisco International Music Video Best Music Video Award out of five thousand. Yeah. Yeah. And then later after Albu, and our recent release Radhu song, and that is also a big hit too. And every time I see. in every song that i do i see some some message has been is being delivered to the youngsters and radhu song was all about don't drink and drive and uh, we have picked up uh, one of the guy who's been told a lot and be part of the video and that video become a hit and we we got millions of tiktoks being done and the journey has just begun with road rider and soon i'll be releasing an album where you will see 10 audio songs at a stretch and you don't need to wait every 3 months for a song So the album theme is Tata, who is going to be soon for you on YouTube, and uh, keep watching for. And this is Rohit Rana signing off today. Thank you.